ina zo ne sai na ji halbi kofa gida na na tashi na shiga cikin gida ina jiran ko sun shigo dai Allah ya kaddara ba su shigo ba na fito ina waje muna labari da wasu sai wani ya ce mu da Allah cikin muwake da fitila ya ga gawa nan kwance waje kila sun halbe shi ina zo wa na haska hai na ga mahaifina ne 18th of May 2021 is a day the people of Bazari town will forever live to remember. A day where a mother with her eight-month-old baby who is battling pneumonia were abducted and marched into the forest. A day where Abdul Qadir Yellow's entire eight children, wife and mother, were abducted. It was a nightmare for the people of Basari local government. This attack, according to security experts, says it is the first of its kind, which is an indication that these bandits are growing in terms of boldness and audacity in extending their territorial attacking patterns. from remote villages to metropolitan areas this one this kind of attack that happened in Basari on the 18th of uh, may is the first of its kind inside the Basari town you know if you look at it the banditry the kidnapping the terrorism in general is on the increase and uh, the bandits sometimes they are bolder than the security agencies. That these things were happening in the neighboring villages and now the attacks were in the local government headquarters. It's very serious. And this shows the, uh, the, deterior the deteriorating nature of our security efforts in trying to curb the incessant attacks from these uh, local communities. Bello and his five children came from Goran Duse to find safe haven in Bazari town as refugees. His five children, Zainab the eldest, Muhammad Rabi Yaqub and his wife Marwa were abducted that night. Ina ga ina ga wannan dutse a banya faru. To eh eh da gari yawa eh rana ta yi ma aka aiko ma aka tena san abin da ya faru ba tsari na ce ban sani ba. Aka ce to ungon mu ka to ga an zo an dauki mutane. Na ce da iyali na tafi shi wan China gode ya fadi man an rude. Sai ya ce in je dai in gano abin da ya faru na ganan man ido na. Abu ya ishe ni can komai kaya na wannan nake sani gaba daya an kwashi na gadi da wannan gudun kullum muna gudu. ita wannan yaran ta shidda kullun in za a gudu yaran ta rasa ma wanda za ta dauka wanda za ta bari muka dawo nan gara kuma Allah ya rabce mu da wannan abu nan gara you know what we observe in Bazari even two or three families that were affected were among those who migrated from the villages to seek refuge in Bazari unfortunately they were cut off in the same way they feel is safe is no more safe umar tukur galadima narrowly escaped but his wife and eighth month old baby battling pneumonia were abducted na tura kofar shago na guda daya da niyyar in rugo gida na rugo sai na ga ai ta nan yankin gidajen mu ne harbin ke fita sai na ce to ba zan ba shago na ba sai na tsaya gidan da ke shago na ina zuwa sai na tada gida na bude ku ba shi kasa an riga an balle shi na diba ko na sallama na sallama na ji dai shiru na diba ko wani daki na gan shi bude sai daki daya yake rufe ga mu kullun shi nan makala a jikin kofai yaran dan wata takwas ne as at the time of abduction the baby was not wearing even pampas come to think of him wearing a pant or clothes abdul qadir yalo narrated how he escaped according to him his escape was a miracle unfortunately his entire eight children wife and mother were abducted to nazo bakin kogira daidai nazo kawa ta dake nan sai na ji wannan halbi sai na ci masa to tabbas wannan halbin marayi ne zahirin gaskiya 
ba ma'aikata bane ba amma abun da ke so ku kar wanda suke fito waje kudaci cikin gida sai suka ce to shikenan ni kuma kawai kafin in yi ta kowa gidan sai na ga take ko ina santocin anya kubaran din su ba ta inda zan yi ta ana halbuwa ba ta same ni ba sai na tsallake to ba su dena bi na ba sai da kai wasu duwatsu na nan bayan kwata nan cikin duwatsun hannun suka bi ni suna zagaya daga nan da suka duba suka duba ba su gane ba sai suka hakura daga nan sai na samu ta dakkar ga na shiga na dan kwanta sai na dan jawo kai sai na lalle ba kai na yara takwas aka dan kamu akwai aminu akwai nasaiba akwai mujahid akwai samaila akwai mata ta rahina akwai diyan kan wata guda biyu akwai fatuma akwai kadija a week later victims began receiving calls from bandits demanding over 365000 dollars equivalent of 150 million naira for the release of their families with little attention from the government and stakeholders with regards to victims condition network for justice a non-governmental organization in kasina which part of its mandate cut across human rights abuses assisting victims of banditry with stipends payment of hospital bills documentation and collection of data of affected communities specifically we embassy arrest today because of the recent incidents of attack that took place in Bazari and this time around unfortunately it took place in Bazari metropolitan what is the headquarters of the local government earlier on all the incidences were taking place in the villages surrounding the local government headquarter but uh, this time around the bandits came into the town at uh, an hour that was really disturbing to us because they arrived Bazari around 9 p.m and attacked the community uh, the documentation of what we are doing is very very important we feel there are quite a number of stakeholders that might need this information uh, first of all credible information is very important so the documentation we are putting as i told you is meant for various stakeholders that means ranging from the government of the state probably the federal government other agencies particularly the humanitarian ministry of humanitarian and whatever they call themselves they, they are free to come to us and see what you have done and international ngos we are partnering with them as well so our data is meant for the government ngos researchers and even academics and also who but probably want to write on the escape, uh, violent activities that is going on could come to us and get this data and this first hand and very reliable they are working towards collaboration with experts that will deal with the mental trauma through redemption reorientation what our ngo is now thinking to partner with other ngos that are willing to come to organize a sort of a redemption uh, reorientation and you see uh, one of our work is to showcase these problems generally we are showcasing to the world the 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 gravity of this impact of banditry raping whatever you have and the economic deterioration because the people cannot go, can no more go back to their farms they cannot go back to their economic activities so you see uh, you know it add up to their difficulties abubakar was not at home when the attack occurred but his wife was shot in the leg with the high increase in number of displaced communities around Kasan estate victims are migrating to places seeking to find a safe haven that safe haven is no more safe 99% of these victims live in remote villages. Their occupation is farming. Now they can no longer farm. With no farm, they can't have what to eat. In the absence of what to eat, they will starve either to death, 
resort to begging or commit crimes that, that will lead to an increase in social vices and infrastructural congestion. As victims leave their communities, bandits expand their territorial domination. Inasmuch as banditry exists, migration is inevitable, which has a global implication in terms of high influx of refugees in search of safe haven across Nigeria, safe African countries, Europe and the United States. The only solution, according to Abu Bakr Ibrahim, a security expert, says... And uh, if you look at the villages, they have been attacking the villages. Some of the villages, they have already uh, uh, sacked all the people. There are villages that you will only meet uh, houses, no people inside. So this kind of thing, if it continues, if it is allowed to continue, it will reach inside the town of Casina. They have already carved their areas. If you look at it now, in this Basari area and other areas, the frontline local governments, these bandits, they have carved their area of operation. They have named their chiefs. We call them warlords. They are virtually warlords. They are the ones attacking villages at will, and nobody is doing anything. They attack, they have that advantage, they attack. They kill anybody they want to kill at any time they want. And they can kidnap anybody and move with it. They can sack any village they want to sack. The approach, the security approach to this banditry, to this terrorism is wrong. There is nowhere in the world where you are countering terrorism at the same time you are waiting for the terrorist to attack before you go after him. It never happens. You always go after the terrorist. You look for the crime not wait for the crime to happen then you move out jamilu mabai reporting from katsina northwestern nigeria